Hi sir, I'm Yong Cheng Ni and in this section, I'm going to explain on how the data travels from lecturer's computer to reach the ULEARN system server, which is in the UTEM IT center. So at first, let me introduce what is the OSI model. OSI model, also known as Open Systems Interconnection Model. It is a conceptual model that characterizes and standardizes the communication functions of a telecommunication or computing system without regard to its underlying internal structure and technology. So, how the data travels from lecturer's computer to reach ULEARN system server? The most common way in interacting with a computer would be via an application. To reach ULEARN system server, lecturer need to use the web browser, HTTP request will be met. Data on the layer is referred as a protocol data unit, PDU. Each subsequent layer encapsulates the previous data layer's PDU with the layer's respective headers and is then sent to the next layer. In application layer, data will attach an application header that, and then passes to the presentation layer. In the presentation layer, it is the translator for the network. It will determine the format that used to exchange data between the lecturer's computer and the server on the network. In this layer, the ULEARN system must be able to ensure the privacy of the users. The data is then transmitted to session layer. It will establish the, co the communication connection between processors running on the computer and server. It will perform user authentication and resource access security that are needed to allow processors to communicate over the network. And in this layer, the checkpoints are placed in the data stream to provide for synchronization to ensure all data gets sent. Mm. In order to open a secure channel, system needs a system needs to establish a connection to the destination. It passes a connection request to TCP, which is a connection-oriented protocol at transport layer in OSI model. The TCP handler receives the connection request and provides end-to-end -end data transportation. On lecturer's computer, segmentation occurs which the data is breaking into smaller pieces, which is segment. While in ULEARN system, it will join all the segments back in the data stream, so the upper layers receive data in the format in which it was sent. Next, the network layer will take data segments from transport layer and add logical address to it. Once the logical address and other related information are added in the segments, it becomes packets. Router will use IP address to take routing decision to forward data packets to its final destination. Now, the network layer has routable packets. It passes it down to layer 2, which is data link layer. The data link layer acts the router physical address, which is MAC address, as the local destination address and allows the router to send the packets up to the internet. Last, in the physical layer, it converts digital signal received from data link layer into analog signals and loops sent in physical media on lecturer's computer. While on the ULEARN system server, it picks analog signal from media and converts them into digital signals and transfers them to data link layer for further processing. So, the data receiving process in ULEARN system server actually is the reverse work done by SEND process. Formatting and addressing information are stripped away at each layer as it is passed out the layers until it arrives at application layer, where it is returned back to its original state that can be interpreted by the ULEARN server. For my part, I do submitting calculation. Through this project, I learned what is subnetting, what is VLSM, what is FLSM. For my question, I use FLSM method to solve it. After the FLSM calculation, I got the IT center network address is 192.168.80.0. Hewlett system server address is 192.168.80.3. And I also know the broadcast address of the ULEARN system is 192.168.87.255 
That's all of the new things that I learned from this project. Thank you. You can see now my IP address is changed to the Union Server System 192.168.0.75 address. So now we, I will talk about my experience. My experience in doing this project is finally I understand what Achero always said. There is no wrong answer for this. It is about efficiency only. This is because of I can type any address into TCP IP before property in my laptop and it will work. Next, with this project, I can finally know how to configure IP address on my laptop based on the scenario. This project has exposed me to the real world situation, especially subnetting. Hi, I'm Rika. So, uh, I've configured IP address using the APIC method on the Linux Debian environment. So, I've put the Union Server system address on the server side and the IT center address on the client side. So in this screenshot, it shows that uh, there is a transmission of packets from the server side to the client side. Thus, it proves that there is a connectivity between them. That's all from me. Thank you.